like the rationale. Tokyo is most attractive city. On October 28th, 2017, the 11th annual Rakuten Technology Conference took place. The theme of this year's event was Head, Hands and Heart, with Head standing for technologies such as Big Data and AI, Hands representing IoT, Robotics, Agile and Mob Programming, and Heart being the human element that links it all together. Seven venues, including Rakuten Crimson House, hosted this year, reaching a total attendance of over 1,500. In Sendai, it was held at the venue of a tech event at Tohoku University. A keynote speech from Miki attracted the largest audience. We are trying to transition from marketplace, comp only marketplace-centric company to more data-driven membership company with a very, very strong brand. So the brand is very, very critical uh, strategy for us. Uh, because of the, uh, the power of Barcelona Warriors and so forth, I think now Rakuten is becoming, I don't say it is already, it is uh, the becoming the household brands uh, in US and in Europe as well. Tokyo is the third most attractive city in the world. And if you think about San Francisco, it's number 17. Maybe Paralto, number 100. Yet, they are the center of the technology and Tokyo is not, right? Hence, I'm always telling to the, the prime minister and all these politicians, it is impossible for Japanese to become the very competitive technology-based company unless we globalize internally, meaning we need to bring best and brightest from the, all over the world, yet keep good part of the Japanese culture. High level of hospitality, high level of humor spirit, those are very, very important part for us. The session featuring MIT professor Regina Barzilay, the leading researcher in natural language processing and AI, was also a focus of attention. How to move beyond narrow task learning is, will be a big, big question in machine learning. How can we cut the amount of annotation and build models which can really intelligently generalize across the task, the same way as you can learn from one example because you have a background, how can you build this background into machines that it can learn from one example? Another highlight was a session in which two of the brains behind hit RPG title Final Fantasy XV, Isamu Hasegawa and Yoichiro Miyake of Square Enix, discussed the three kinds of AI technologies used in developing the game. It's, uh, modern AI, uh, game AI technology, is consists of three components, such as meta AI, character AI, navigation AI. So, by using three AI, game designer will make the user experience for game. Meta AI controls a number of uh, uh, AI characters to rescue a player, so uh, Meta AI pick up one player to rescue a player. Uh, that is, uh, the Meta AI role is to make a good situation for players and a good user experience to players. And there was also a thought-provoking panel discussion featuring representatives of commercial quantum computing pioneer D-Wave, Google's machine learning and data analytics department, satellite imaging data provider Planet Labs, and Rakuten. Quantum computing is potentially very beneficial mm. to security, and that's because you can develop new kinds of machine learning systems, for example, for classifying uh, network traffic as potentially um, that of an adversary or for looking for fraud and things like that. So I don't think it's a threat, not, not remotely a threat in the near term, but potentially quite an, an ally to mm. security. This year also saw the debut of the Unconference track, in which attendees could propose their own themes for group discussion between everyone, resulting in many lively sessions. The initiator of mob programming, Hunter Industries, hosted a session on this hot new software development approach, where a whole team works on the same task in front of the same computer. Meanwhile, various sessions and workshops took place involving up-and-coming technologies like HTML5 and blockchain, which Rakuten is actively involved in the commercial application of. At the Tech Family Park in the cafeteria, 
many kids could be found enjoying activities such as programming and making robots. The Rakuten Technology and Innovation Award was also launched at the conference this year, featuring presentations from award winners as well as the award ceremony. More than 50,000 uh, people download my apps. In June, Apple invited me to join WWDC 2017. Uh, the reason why I want to be creative, I think that act of creating things is the most human-like activity, something that AI cannot do. I think programming is a tool of self-expression, just like crayons or Lego blocks, and it's a wonderful way to study and observe the world. I made it just in time to attend the, uh, the Square Enix talk. Actually, I don't use much AI in my current job, but um, I think that in the future, because AI and deep learning will, and uh, maybe blockchain will be very important in the future, uh, I feel like all of the lectures today uh, will be very interesting for all engineers to know. The chairman, I really like his, how he depicts the vision and the future direction of practice. I loved all the sessions, but especially I loved the award, uh, the award speeches. It gave an impression like for, from another point of view to the, well, to the programming and to the IT uh, field. Sure. Yes. <laughs>